Crashing over the clouds and around the world Here comes the wild side of wildlife The Animal Show And now let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends Stinky and Shake Now it's the Animal Show <laughs> Uh, hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky. And I'm Jake. And today our guests are the spider monkey and the lemur. Stinky, what are you doing? Oh, I'm getting in shape for the international animal competition. Oh, by the way, I entered you in one of the events. You did? Which event? Synchronized tree swinging. <laughs> Stinky, polar bears do not swing in trees. Oh, but today's guests do. But the spider monkey and lemur can coach you to victory. No, no. Come on, it, Jake, you better start getting in shape. But Let's Stinky, jog. One, but two, Stinky, three, four. It, one, two, three, <gasps> four. Hey, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. And now it's time for. That's amazing. Today, an animal that spends most of its life in the trees. Oh. Hey, that'd be my cousin Chester. He's nutty as a squirrel. No, Armstrong. <laughs> We're talking about Vero Shefak. Woozy's what to see? There she is, Vero Shefak. Yeah. This animal lives in the forest of Madagascar. It has long arms and legs and an extra long tail to help it swing from tree to tree. Hey, don't these uh, Veranzano's Sambucas ever come down to earth? It's Vero Shefak. Right. And they sometimes jump down to the ground to look for more food. But most of the time, they get all the food they need right up there in the treetops. Hoo-hoo! Nice jump there, Veronica Sukaku. Armstrong, it's Vero Shefak. Well, to me, it's just another animal that's not as nutty as my cousin Chester, but it'll make you say... That's amazing! Oh, 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 Stinky, can we stop jogging now? Oh, 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 okay, all right. But mm. you got a lot of work to do if you think you're going to be ready for the synchronized oh. tree swinging event. Okay, but our, our first guest should be able to help me. Oh. 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 From Central and South America oh. and the oh. coastal forest of Mexico, oh. Mexico, here's Hector the Spider Monkey. Here I am. Let's get this thing moving. Wow. If I wanted to hang around, I'd go back to my tree. Well, <laughs> welcome, Hector. Oh, hey, which one of you needs my help with the tree swinging competition? That would be me. Oh, great, Guava. We got our work cut out for us. Well, it's tree swinging difficult. <laughs> it will be for you, but for spider monkeys like me, it's easy. Let me show you. Oh, a clap. Oh. I love this. <laughs> Now then, here's my home in the tropical rainforest. Wow, look at all those trees. Yeah, trees are where we spend most of our time. Oh, gee, you spider monkeys sure are furry. Ooh, thank you, Stinky. Now, li living in the tropics, isn't that fur awfully hot? Oh, we need that fur. It can get very cold at night in the rainforest. Anyway, we stay cool swinging around the trees and wrestling with each other like this. Well, are those two fighting? No, they're just playing. Mm. Playing is one way we make friends. Spider monkeys love to play. Uh, me too. Now then, here's our tail. A tail you can wrap around branches is something every good tree swinger needs. What about your tail, Jake? I don't really have a tail. Uh-oh. What do you mean, uh-oh? No tail is a big uh-oh. Uh -oh. We spider monkeys use our tails all the time. It's like having a fifth paw. Oh, well, I'll be your fifth paw, Jake. Gee, thanks, Stinky. <clears throat> Hector, what, what is this spider monkey here doing? Oh, he's grooming. That's uh, cleaning bugs out of his fur. Uh, we spider monkeys spend a lot of time grooming. It's a way to keep clean, but also a way we bond together as a group. Oh, oh, so you live in groups. That's right. A group of 20 to 30 spider monkeys is called a troop. Well, do you live in troops for protection? Oh, yeah, that's right. It's a way we protect and raise our young spider monkeys. It also lets us work together to find the best food. Well, uh, what kind of food do you eat? Well, there's a lot to choose from in the rainforest. And the best part is, it's all right up here in the trees. You see, most of the time, we eat fruits and nuts. And if there are tasty flowers around, we'll nibble on those too. Do you ever go down to the ground to get food? Oh, very rarely. Sometimes we'll drop down to grab an abandoned egg or insects, but it can be dangerous down there. What kind of danger? Jaguars and other wildcats try to grab us and have us for dinner. Yuck. It's a whole lot safer in the trees, especially for moms and babies like these two. Oh, look oh. at the baby holding on to mommy. Yeah, it looks like he's got a pretty tight grip. <laughs> it's a good thing, too. When that mom starts swinging and climbing through the trees, it can be a pretty bumpy ride. Well, can't the baby spider monkeys climb by themselves? Not when they're first born. They live with their moms for about three years, watching everything she does. Is that how they learn? That's right. Climbing comes naturally to spider monkeys, but mom will show her baby how to keep his balance and find the best food and groom, all the necessities of life. And then that baby will be ready to go off on its own. 
You got it, Jake. Hey, Spider Monkey, don't bite your own tail. <laughs> That's an important lesson I learned through painful personal experience. <laughs> hey, hey, Jake, well, maybe you could go live with a Spider Monkey mommy for three years. Then you'd be a real tree swinger. <laughs> no, I'm not so sure about that. Jake isn't exactly built like a Spider Monkey, is he? Oh, I never noticed that. It's true. Look at this Spider Monkey. See those long arms and long legs? Uh -huh. Those wouldn't do as much good down on the ground. Well, you'd be dragging your knuckles in the dirt. That's right. But up here in the trees, long arms and legs make it easier to grab at far branches and to swing our weight from tree to tree. Oh, Jake, would you make a note of that? We're going to have to lengthen your arms and legs. Okay. Uh, what? Now, Stinky, let's not get carried well, away. it might be worth it, Jake. You'd be able to hang around with the spider monkeys and eat some delicious figs, like these guys are doing. Mm. I don't know if there's enough room for Jake in the forest. <laughs> As it is, there's less and less room even for spider monkeys. What do you mean, Hector? Well, every day we're losing more of our rainforests. When they chop down those trees, they're cutting down our homes and the food that we eat. Without trees, we spider monkeys just won't be able to survive. Oh, well, Jake, on second thought, you shouldn't go down to the rainforest. Spider monkeys have enough trouble without having to share their figs with a polar bear. Yeah, you're probably right, Stinky. Mm. Well, Hector, thanks for being on our show. Oh, thanks, Jake, and good luck to you with your tree swinging competition. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, come on, Jake. Let's see if we can make your arms and legs longer. Uh, Give me your paw here. No, uh, Stinky, it's... Stinky, I don't want longer arms and legs. You don't? No, I want to watch... Baby talk! Oh, look at that fruit! It's delicious! Oh, I want some! Me too! And I'm not waiting! I'm going to get that fruit now! I'm almost there! Got it! Oh, yeah! workout tape for tree swingers like you. It's called Trunks of Steel. Trunks of Steel? Yeah. Ready to feel the burn? Do I have a choice? No. Mm. Come swing, come swing, come swing with me. Come fling your arms around a tree. Oh, why not take a glide? Across the great divide Then you'll be side by side with me When you hung and swung around that tree You run, you run your rings round me Oh, an acrobatic leap From somewhere pretty steep knows the answer. Uh, ma'am. Yes? Can you tell me which of the following animals shares its home with the spider monkey? Is it the black and white colobus monkey, the silver leaf monkey, the vervet monkey, or the red howler monkey? Do you know the answer? Oh, no, but I have a rather lovely singing voice. Oh. One day. No, I do not. No! The animal that shares its home with a spider monkey is 
the red howler monkey. Being up to three feet tall, with a tail up to three feet long, and weighing as much as 22 pounds, the red howler monkey is among the largest of all the New World monkeys. Like spider monkeys, they live in the trees and prefer the upper and middle canopy of the rainforest. They eat mostly leaves, but also like buds, flowers, and fruits, especially figs. Howlers are considered by some to be the noisiest monkey. When asked to comment, this howler monkey said, Yes. Mm -hmm. I see. Very interesting. It's Rhonda Rat reporting on the howler monkey. Back to you, Stinky and Jake.